Hey guys, it's Gary here. Hey, I just want to let you guys know that I know I hadn't uh, posted anything in November or December very much. I was so busy. Uh, I had a family crisis and I went to a conference in December. I went to date with Destiny with Tony Robbins and I was sick and a lot of stuff happened and it's been it's been a really great year in 2018 but it was also very challenging you know one of the key lessons I learned from date with destiny I learned a lot and I'll share with you guys more over uh, the next couple weeks and months key lessons was they're talking about relationships they're talking about you got to take 100% responsibility of your actions and your feelings and your emotions most many counselors talk to uh, relationship couples and they say oh you guys got to meet in the middle if one person's here one person's here you got to meet in the middle and then tony tony robbins was saying hey you know when each party takes 100 percent responsibility of their actions there is no meeting in the middle bullshit. there's none of that it's all you when there's Full, when each person takes ownership of their actions and their feelings and their emotions, there is not meeting in the middle kind of garbage. So I was thinking about that and how does that apply in business? How does that apply in you building your wealth? A lot of people think, you know what? Oh, I can't build my wealth because the market's down. Oh, the stock market's not doing well. Uh, the currency trading is really bad right now. The, the real estate market is bad. 2018 was actually a downtime for many people. Like the real estate market was really slow, but it was actually one of my best years ever. And that's because I pivoted. When the, when the luxury market uh, was tanking, I was switching because I work with a lot of clients all across the spectrum from entry level investor, middle class to luxury investors or uh, like the high net worth. And it's a great time in 2018 to buy uh, low price properties, entry level properties, great deals, and the market was still good for the entry level properties. So, so I was able to pivot and work with other clients that I saw properties that were a great opportunity for those clients. So my business didn't get affected. My business isn't affected by the market because I don't let it affect me. But many people just point the finger. Oh, I'm not doing well because the market's not doing well. I'm not doing well because the business or this, this competitor came to town and is taking out a bunch of my market share. A lot of people like to point fingers and blame other people. But many people don't take the 100% responsibility that Tony was talking about. They just try to excuse their performance by looking at somebody else and saying, oh, it's because of them or him or her. Oh, it's because of my team wasn't good enough. Oh, it's because my employees didn't work hard enough. It's because my mom did this or my wife did this or my husband did this. And they just blame other people or blame life situations. You know, everyone has problems. Everyone goes through tragedies and everyone goes through difficult periods of time. but. It's how you rebound and how you pivot and how you uh, react and respond during those times that either make you stronger or make you weaker. So are you a person who takes uh, situations, takes life and are you a victim and you go, oh, life happened to me? Or are you an individual who thinks like what Tony says, life happens for you? Are you able to take 100% responsibility of how you feel, 100% responsibility of your actions, 100% responsibility of your words, your commitment, and make it work? Don't say, oh, I don't know if I can make it work, I don't know, I don't know. You make it work. That's, that's high performance. You just, you just get it done, right? And yeah, I really want to encourage you in your real estate uh, endeavors you're trying to build a portfolio you're trying to gain wealth don't blame the market there's people are making money in whatever market it is slow market uh, booming market when the oh like the luxury market is tanking or pre-sales are hard or assignments are hard or houses are slow people are making money all throughout the spectrum 
and it's just whether you are able to capitalize on that. So make sure you talk to your realtor, have that discussion, have that consultation to strategize. Because if you're shooting in the dark, uh, if you're shooting in the dark, you're likely going to miss. Hopefully you found value. I will see you in the next video.